What's going on everybody? RPG back with some more predecessor content. Today's video we got Crunch in the Jungle. Gonna start out with the Earthshaker here. I don't think I've used Crunch yet in the new patch with the new items. This was my first jungle match on Crunch and I think this dude is an absolute monster right now. Earthshaker, awesome item on Crunch. Start out with the Warrior Crest too. Using uh, the new crest, it only has like a 15 second cooldown, does a little AoE damage around you, and has lifesteal on it. It's crazy. You know, so far in the new patch, I've been using uh, a lot of Aurora jungle. I used Crunch in the jungle in this match, and I've been, um, I've been having success doing uh, blue starts in the jungle. Because I've noticed a lot of people try to invade blue when the match starts. So I like to hang out out here, see if anybody tries to invade. And then usually, I'll, ju I'll just start out over here. And it, it's, it's a different flow, but it, it works out pretty well. Especially on Aurora and Crunch. I've seen some people saying Crunch isn't great in this patch, but I don't know what they're talking about. I had a great game on him, and it was the first one I played uh, on him in this in this patch. I think it's because certain items like Ella Frost got slight nerfs, like the tank items got nerfs, but Crunch is still wild, man. I'm gonna kite these back here. Been having so much fun on Aurora. I'm like halfway through level six, trying to hit seven to get the master skin. But using the same character in that many matches in a row gets kind of redundant. So I figured I'd try out Crunch this match, and it was a lot of fun. So when I rotate over to red side, instead of going for the two first, I go for the red first here just to see how that goes. Gonna kite it back here, drop off the ledge, go to the five camp. Go start kiting that back. Sometimes when you kite these minions back, they get stuck on invisible things that aren't there, and it ends up taking longer than it would if you didn't kite them at all. It's pretty unfortunate. Gonna use our hunt there because we have one sitting around. Just try to clear this two as fast as we can. Boom, take them out. Upgrade our right crunch again. Gonna head back. Grab that ironwood war bow. Our rev. Speaking of Rev, since we just walked past him, he does not have a great start to this match. I think he starts out like 0-4 or something like that, but uh, he starts to come online later on. I see them drop this ward, so I'm going to take that out real quick. I don't want them to know where I am. Just in time for the three camp to respawn. I don't really do a lot of blue starts, so getting here exactly when the three camp respawned was a surprise to me. Actually worked out really well. See if they have a ward over here. They do, but I'm going to come out anyway. Open up on the cure, but then move to the crunch. Steal with the big stun. I land a slow. He blinks away. I'm going to stick around here to soak up some experience. I don't think I take any minions from them. I just kind of weaken them. There you go. Just soaking up the experience as payment for uh, almost getting that gank and getting the blink from Narbash. See, Sarith is super low. Gideon's in trouble. He's got two people on him in mid. He needs to get out of there. I'm kind of just waiting for this river here. Yeah, he's taking a beating. There we go. Got the river. I'm going to open up on the enemy Gideon. 
Gideon's got to get out of here. He's so low. I'm going to take that hit for him right there. If we let that go by, it may have hit him. That may have been the end of Gideon. <clears throat> An enemy tower is under attack. Grab both rivers, just to deny the enemy Gideon the river. It's always disappointing when the rivers are the same buff. It, like, two gray buffs. So I see enemy Wang is out there trying to gank. Sarath is out there. They don't have a ward, so I'm going to help him out. I'm trying to get Aurora to run towards me, but she runs away. Either way, I'm going to stay in. I hope Aurora comes back. She could definitely get both of them if I don't. Aurora taking so long to get back. I blink away. Aurora gets one of them. They blink into Chase. They finish me off, but Aurora is definitely going to get the double here. There it is. Nice. I only got one assist for that somehow. It doesn't really make any sense. But And there I am. I'm in the chat right there at the bottom telling Aurora, next time, retreat towards me so we can clean them both up together. You know? She retreated away from me. I took away all their health. They finished me, and then she got the double. I mean, we still... It was still uh, one for two, but we could have got a... So we could have got both for the price of nobody if she came to, to me when she was escaping. <laughs> Need to way right back to farming. There's the rev getting taken out. There we go, we hit our level 6. But our Gideon gets destroyed in mid lane. So right now, as of right now, not looking so great for the team. The rev is dying. Gideon just died. I died. Shouldn't have, but I did. See, like right there, the minion got caught on like an invisible wall right there, and he, I couldn't kite him. So strange. But after that gank on right lane, it looks like Aurora has taken the lead over there over Sarith. So uh, she gets another kill on her, so she's going to have a lead in solo lane, so we're going to be good there. But our duo is behind, and our mid is having some trouble. I know I'm ahead of the Wang on farm. So two of our positions are ahead, and two of our positions are behind. Gonna clean up that three, head back, get the Earth Shaker online. Earth Shaker, great bruiser item. By landing basic attacks, it increases your ability damage by 15%. I think it's awesome on Crunch. 15% more damage on all your punches, on all your ability punches, is is pretty crazy if you ask me. A little dive over the wall on Crunch. He doesn't have a lot of vertical mobility, but his charge can really get him to places like that right there. See, there you go. Yeah, Aurora's so far ahead now on that Sarith. So she's kind of just walking through her on mid lane. Got the Wang over here stealing the river buff, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna take the 1v1. And I think I'm gonna get him here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we destroyed that Wang. Wow. He only got us about halfway. See if we can help with the Gideon over here, too. Here we go. And he blinks away. That's fine. So we got his blink. Kill the Wang. We get the Gideon's blink. Now we know that for next time. Oh, see, our left lane is just getting clobbered out here. Rev gets taken down again. My health is too low to help out on there. They're both full health. Just got to hope Steel can hold it down under tower. Maybe I'll peek out, see if it makes him back off. Yeah, Kira uses her dash. Alright, we're gonna head back. We can get one of the tier 2 items going for our augmentation. Spell Slasher, put that online. 
After using an ability, your next auto does more damage, which is nice. An ally tower is under attack. See, he's got Wang coming out on him. So I start blink. I start uh, pinging over here, because last time I told him to run towards me next time, but I don't think he sees it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the ward out. See if I can get this Wang to push up. I know he doesn't want it after I torched him in that one versus one in the river. Aurora using the old. I think I'm gonna use my double dash to get in there and finish him off. Here we go. Nice. Totally worth it to use the double dash right there. Use your ultimate. After you use your forward crunch, you get that double dash. Close a huge distance like that, just light him up. See if we can get the Gideon now. Oh, I start pinging for it. Look at the Gideon. Going ba lazy back right there. We're going to get him. Oh, yeah, full combo on the Gideon. Silly Gideon. Grab the river. That's why crunch is so strong. That forward crunch, that one right there, has a little tiny stun on it. Then the uppercut has a stun on it. Kind of preventing the Gideon from using his uh, portal to get away. Let's see if we get the red buff here. Let's go grab that. So after that little miscommunication on the gank on right lane, it's been going pretty well. See the warrior crest is ready to upgrade. We're going to head back and do that. Grab another tier 2 item on augmentation. There it is. We're going to grab judgment. Hit up the temporal ripper. A little health bead. Nice. Gideon rotates over. Takes out the narbash. Everything is starting to work out now. Except the rev. He's still 0-2. But that's fine. We're winning everywhere else. Gideon's getting chased. <laughs> I start pinging for Fang here. I'm not really worried about the Wang. I'm so far ahead of him that if he does come in on this, I'll just destroy him. I don't think anyone's going to contest it, though. Take out that fang tooth real quick. Oh, bad move, Narbash. Let's see if I can run him down here. Save my dash. Here we go. There it is, big uppercut. There we go. Finish him off real quick. Man, that Kira really leaves her support out to dry. There we go. Just enough to finish augmentation, and straight from there we're going Berserker's Axe. Berserker's Axe, you probably already know, after a leap or a dash, your next basic does more damage, goes hand in hand with the augmentation. It's always comforting, it's always a good feeling when your solo laner is winning their lane. You're, oh, you always get a little nervous when the solo laner's behind. Oh, this Gideon's in big trouble. Wow. So we stunned him out of his portal at first. Then he used his portal and we followed him through it. Hit a, hit a big uppercut. He had no chance. Looks like we're going to go mini prime here after that. Go grab that mini. Really starting to pull away now. Looks like rivers are about to come up. Get 
hit that two camp. So far ahead of the enemy wing. They have left lane in trouble again. I hope they can get away this time. Yeah, Rev got away. I have mini prime. I don't mind going in one versus two on them. If the situation's right. Let's see. Might just end up getting the Narbash again. Here we go. Yeah, Kira just blinked away. Pretty sure. Take out the Narbash. Big uppercut. Poor Narbash. Kind of waiting for the Gideon to come through the fog wall, but I think he went the other way. Yeah, he didn't come this way. There he is. I have the mini prime, so I kind of want to shove mid right now. See if we can do a little tower damage here. If we can get that mid tower down, the tier one down, then Gideon can do a lot more rotating. So I'm going to bring this wave in with me and see if we can get it down. Oh no, he pops his ult. And we got Wang here, I gotta get out. Did some decent damage to the tower, but it's just not going to happen, so we gotta get out of there. As Rev gets taken out again. Rev, 0-3. Sitting at 131 farm, 6, 1, and 1. We're looking pretty good right now. We haven't even hit the 20-minute mark yet. Got our solo laner dominating their lane. An enemy tower is under attack. Let's see if I can help Aurora here. I'm going to ping. I'm going to say I'm on my way, so hopefully she rotates over towards me, like I've been asking her to. Uh, she's just kind of kiting him around. Gideon does not see me yet. Here we go. And he blinks away. And he portals. So we got his blink, and Aurora survived. So that was a win. gonna farm right here right in front of their face I don't think they're gonna contest it sitting on a lot of money here I was I was gonna try to stay out till I had enough gold to buy my next item but that's a lot of gold to hold on to sitting at 2,500 right now I think the next items a little over 3,000 clear this ward clear this ward too don't care that Gideon's hitting me, he's not gonna kill me. Just wanted to clear both of those boards out. Now I'm in trouble. So we're gonna use our dash, we're gonna use our ultimate to double dash and we're gonna get out of there. Gideon needs to get out of there as well. He's got half health and there's two of them coming and I have to go back. Now, enemy Gideon's coming to get me here, so. I'm going to have to get out of here and go to the... Oh, going to have to go to the uh, inhibitor to go back. There's Rev dying again. Gideon overstays his welcome. Now he gets taken out. Oh, no, he doesn't. He got away. Well, I'm going to chase down the Wang here. He's super low. Going to land an uppercut. Nice. That Wang made a huge mistake. He got thirsty for the Gideon. I thought he was going to get him, but he didn't. And he ended up paying the price because I saw him coming. Get some health regen here while I'm farming up. Oh, 
Wang started farming now. I was way ahead of him. We're gonna finish our Berserker's Axe, but now he's at like a hundred and... What was it? 120 farm? He's starting to close the gap on the farm, but I'm way ahead of him on kills. So he's at about 120 farm, and I'm sitting at 155, so I'm still... I have a significant lead on him on farm, and I have a huge lead on him on kills, and we're ahead on objectives. I'm gonna clear this out before Sarah takes it out completely. So this Sarith, she was losing the one versus ones against Aurora, but she was pushing the lane. She was winning the lane. She's doing some damage to me here. I land a big uppercut. Oh, she's a big trouble. We got Gideon here too. Get the Sarith, start backing out. Yeah, man, Crunch just seems so strong. I don't know why people are saying he, he got weaker this patch. He seems exactly the same to me. He's still strong. I'm too low to help out with that fight, so I'm just going to start farming. Sitting at about half HP, it wouldn't be a good idea for me to go in. And there's two of them. They should be able to win that fight. Also, I couldn't really do much about that Fangtooth. Couldn't really contest it because we were on right lane. But two of the enemies get taken out here. Rev gets a kill. Congratulations. So we're up 18 to 8 on kills. We're even on Fangtooth now. I mean, it was a smart play by the enemy team to grab that Fangtooth while I was on right lane, defending the lane and taking out the Serith. See if we can catch this Narbetch slipping out here if he overstays his welcome. I don't... Oh, I hear Wang somewhere. I'm going to try to open up on him. Oh, there he is. Let's get him. Oh my god, he's one shot. He is a one shot. See what's going around. See what's going on around the back, maybe. Nah, Norbert, he's got too much health for me to dive that tower. See, that's what I'm talking about. Aurora got another kill on Serith, but Serith is just walking through that lane. I think we lose that inhibitor eventually, because Serith pushes it so hard, even though she's behind. Working on Elifrost next. I know all the tank all the tank items. Got a slight nerf with the rework, but I still think Elifrost is good on, on Crunch. It goes hand in hand with augmentation and Berserker's axe. Really empowers that next basic attack after using an ability, especially a dash. Maybe they're saying at super high MMR that uh, Crunch starts to fall off, but I don't know, man. We're just gonna dive in here. Dive right into this fight. Start focusing the Wang now, get him out of there. Yeah, take that Wang out real quick, start working on the Narbash. Nice. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're talking about like super high Masters MMR, that Crunch isn't as strong this patch, but I'm playing a Platinum right now. And Crunch feels exactly the same as he did before the patch. He still feels really strong. Let's see if we can catch the Serith dropping down. Yep. Ooh, the flower. I was thinking about blinking to follow, but it's really not worth it. Definitely gonna go back here and use my thousand gold, finish off my Elifrost. But it looks like Gideon is making the mistake of chasing, and now he's going to get finished. Yeah, there was no real reason to chase that. Got to go Flux Matrix this time around for my magical armor. Increase all, the, all of the ability damage done around me for me and all the mages on my team. Gideon said he got greedy. Yes, he did. Yeah, and he paid the price for it, but it's all good. We're still so far ahead.
This seems like such a good build on Crunch, too. Clearing camp so quickly now. Look at this Narbash. And the Kira. Kira dashes away. I gotta blink away because Revenant is just asleep at the wheel over here. Unbelievable, Rev. Could have got an easy double right there. Even if Steel got in there and landed a couple stuns, we could have got the double, but. Duo was not our strong suit this match, to say the least. Sitting nicely at 9 1 and 2, 229 farm. Start pinging for the fang. Gonna take the flower in there. Rev again, late to the party. Nice. Get that second fang tooth. Enemy team starts to rotate in. I don't think they want to do that. See if we can catch them here through the fog wall on the backside. Nice. Got the Kira. Oh, Steel's just out of range for the stun, so we're going to back out of there. Oh, looks like Steel and Gideon actually ran him down. They didn't get him, but they caught up to him at least. While we're here, we're going to steal the enemy 5 camp. See if the red is up here. It is not. Narbash, he might be too deep in that inhibitor for us to dive it. Yeah, he's too deep and he sees us coming. Seems like a waste on left lane, so I start paying an attack mid lane. Hopefully uh, Gideon comes back over here. See if this river's up. Nope. Going to head back, but there's a fight going on. I'm going to see if I can get in there and help out. <laughs> Aurora takes out Sarath one more time. She's just farming her. See if I can pop out on somebody here. Let's get this Gideon. And he blinks away, so we're going to switch to the enemy Wang here. Gideon gets the kill on him. Nice. Got their duo here. I do not want to fight that right now. Actually, we got our Rev coming in, so it could be a, a three verse two, but their their duo recognizes that and they back off. Take this ward. Speed boost river. Rev going in on his own for some reason. What you doing there, Rev? Get out of there, man. Just trying to give the team another kill, or what? See that Gideon's in trouble. He blinks away. I think Sarath is gonna follow him. Gonna finish that flux matrix. Start working on our last item. 
Last item for this build is going to be Salvation. Perfect fit for this build. See, again, Sarath just really hard focused on shoving that lane. She keeps dying and paying the price for it, but she keeps shoving that lane. Let's see if we can catch her here. I'm going to dash this way. She hits the flower to come up top. See if we can catch her. Don't know how all of that missed. Don't know how that uppercut missed. This is crazy. Connection issues? What is going on here? She's not getting away. There's no way. Jeez. Had so many abilities there that I thought would hit. This did not hit. Ooh, let's see what we can do here. Got Aurora wrapping around the backside. Nice, big ol'. Wang's done. Left lane kind of getting bullied. Just because Rev's the only one out there. I ping to attack left lane so we can pinch her in on them here, but they both go back. So we abort mission, go for Fangtooth. It is our third fang, so we the all important third fang, and it's a primal fang on top of that. So this is huge right here. Getting third fang, especially as a primal fang, while they're down two players, it might just seal the deal. Tenacious Drape. Grab that real quick, head back out. Up 27 to 12, three Fangtooth to one. Solid lead. Level 18 already, working on full build. I don't know if we're gonna get it. Don't know if we're gonna get it. We already have Primal Fang. Let's see what we could do with it. Got a lot of action in mid. Let's rotate towards that side. Got the Serith over here. I'm gonna hide behind the wall, so hopefully... Nope, she goes the other way. Maybe she's gonna pop out this side. Let's go see if she's coming. Don't see her yet. No, she's not coming. She doesn't want any part of it. There she is. She's behind us. There we go. Gonna open up on her. Land a big uppercut. We are just ripping through her health bar. She had absolutely no chance. Start pinging retreat, attack or prime. Because we're up uh, five players to three right I mean five players to four. So we have the power play. And we also have primal fang. So if we force a fight here, we're definitely gonna win it. If a fight does break out here, I'm gonna focus prime until we get it. And then I'm gonna turn and fight. Right, here we go, I'm gonna focus prime, focus prime. Try to land a shot on Gideon there. And then we're gonna hunt the uh or prime. Now we're going to clean them up. Where'd he blink to? Doesn't matter, he's dead. Got a whole bunch of assists in there. Four of them down. Or Prime. Primal Fangtooth. Going to shove it right down mid. I throw a GG in the chat because it should be over. And there you have it. There's the surrender. Ladies and gentlemen. Crunch in the jungle in the new patch. I don't know what people are talking about. He is still super strong. Let's check that final score. Thirteen one and five. Very nice. 